I've got some wood filament and a printer that can print it. Let's print something. It's Filament Friday. My wife is also an author and she writes a storybook cottage series. She also builds these beautiful miniature houses from the stories in the book. So when she found out I could print with wood, she asked if we could make some custom furniture for her little cottages. So I showed her how to use Tinkercad. Now her first design was an easy one. It's just an end table with space for some miniature books. It started out with just a single block and then added a second block on, on the front. This is a drawer front, but not a functional drawer, just for looks. And then a knob for that drawer. And then another block was inserted, only this time made into a hole. That's where the books will go. So then we grouped them all together as one unit. And then to make it more visual for her, we changed it to brown so she could see pretty much how this is going to look when it's done. So everything looked good. And this is miniature. So let me show you the sizes here. If I bring the ruler over, you can see it's two inches tall, one and a half inches wide, and just over one inch deep. It's really 1.031, and that's because of the knob. So everything looked good. So now we just had to export it as a .stl file. So I click on Design and then Download for 3D Printing. Clicked on .stl and we had the file. So now it was my job to print it. So I brought the .stl file into Repetier Host. So now I had to slice it, so I chose the Cura Engine. And with that I chose a 0.2 millimeter layer height, a 25% fill infill density, and then from the drop down menu for the extruder I chose a special wood setting that I created in the Cura configuration window. And all that setting really does is set the print temperature at 185 degrees C and a zero degree bed temperature because this is PLA. I don't need the heated bed. So then I sent it to the printer to print it in wood. So here's the result. The one on the right is the wood that I actually sanded just a little bit. It came out really good. The one on the left is the second one we printed that she decided to paint. Now it needs a couple more coats, but it just shows you can paint this or sand it just like real wood. And here's the miniature cottage that she created that was chosen to receive the 3D printed furniture. Inside it's fully decked out. She did all this, including designing the little bookcase, 3D printed in wood including the little handmade miniature books. I really love printing in wood. This little bookcase came out awesome. She's really happy with it. I've also printed a little nozzle for my CNC. The vacuum hose goes on here and then this can vacuum up the dust as it's cutting. So how cool is that? A 3D printed nozzle in wood for my wood cutting machine. Anyway, that's all I got for now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That's, that way I know you're watching. And if you want to help out the channel, as usual, please check out my Patreon page. Every little bit helps. And thank you especially to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. It helps buy filament like this. And if you want to know more about all the Repetier settings and how I got this all to work on my reflashed Repetier machine here, stay tuned. I'm working on it. There's many settings that I changed and then changed back and I'm kind of re-stepping through everything so I can show you exactly what I did and I'm learning myself and a lot of it depends on what type of plastic you're running through the machine so there's that too and there is no basically one answer for all but that's the beauty of this is it gives you the options to just anything that you want now it also adds some complexity to it but I'm to that point where I need I need control and I want to use other types of plastics instead of you know waiting for someone or a company to release it uh, you know if it's out there why can't I use it and now I can. so I'm having a lot of fun I hope you enjoy these stay tuned for more I'll see you next time